About the grave diggers, he made frankly unpublishable comments. He cursed like a condemned man, and at his feet, pondering his failures, a pair of eagles cried. Lautremont was at his graveside, and I caught sight of him from my place in line. He left his hat beside the tomb and sang something obscure and sad. His tears were honorable, honorable, I believe they were, and horses devoured figs silently. There were speeches, Rambeau with his outbursts of laughter beside the cross, umbrellas open beneath the rain as he would have liked, and there was more, Friday and funeral songs, doves that flew disorderly like children, dark poems, Aragon's beautiful voice, Georgette's sporting suicides, and forever and nevermore. At the event's saddest hour, he said he didn't want to descend because it was dark down there. But he was dead and had no choice. Hats came off heads. Glasses were raised, goodbyes. Gestures promising not to forget you. A young poet to my right rocked his knees to death. They lowered him. There was delirious applause. People ran about like crazy as befit the moment's gravity. They lowered him. Women wept silently because they were lowering the eagles, the dreams, whole countries into the earth. They tried one last phrase. Nerval approached with a piece of chalk and wrote in trembling letters, his cadaver was full of world. From the depths, Vallejo smiled ceaselessly, thinking of the future as an immense stone closed upon his heart and papers.